Path of Exile. Path of Exile is a free-to-play action RPG. It's published by Grinding Gear Games, whose main man is the creator of Diablo franchise. And uh, me like the Diablo very much. This game was initially launched on 23rd of October 2013 for PC platform, which automatically meant that I couldn't play it. But as faith took its course, 2019 brought us a console release, and I could finally take a jab at it as well. So what can I say? I'm glad that I've now had my hours of fun in that game. Even around 30 to be exact. I feel that I'm now capable of giving out my review. But it's it's going to be a short and neat. Actually it's not. It's not. It's going to be neat, but definitely not the shortest. If you want to hear about my experience uh, about this title, then smash the like button. Did you do it? I believe you. Anyways, this game is big. It's 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 bigger than uh, Diablo, definitely. It's bigger than Monster Hunter World. It's even bigger than Death Stranding. But bigger how, you may ask? Like Elder Scrolls Online or World of Warcraft. This game swallows game hours like I swallow Diet Coke on Saturday evening. The hours you put in that game will be transferred into progress, but it's a noticeably slower grind as you pass level 32. But the game really starts after the main story. So you level up, you gain ability points, you gain some of them even doing quests. Take every one of them and cherish them, because you're going to need them. The main attraction of Path of Exile is this monstrosity of a skill tree. It's huge! It, it's humongous! You can be whatever you like to be, you can concentrate on whatever builds you adore, but choosing the correct path may be harder than you think. Jesus, I'm all over the place with this review, but please, let me just try to recap my point and explain. You can choose your main character in the beginning. You have the Marauder, Ranger, Witch, almost said Witcher, Templar, Shadow, Duelist and Sikon, Skignon, Skion, Skion! that determines your starting position in the skill tree. You are surrounded by skills most relevant to your character's signature abilities, but you can and need and will spread out to other character skill lines as well. So in the end you might have a hero who might be an archer but draws a lot of its power from Templar's skill tree, both for resistances and healing purposes. Getting the right balance to your chosen hero is the real magic, because you might do everything right in your own mind. But after 60 hours of gameplay, you may discover that you really screwed up big time and you need to repurchase your skill points to distribute them all again. So you basically need to think and research the shit out of any possible builds you might like and start doing it step by step and to be honest, this kinda takes the fun out of it for me at least. Best players use BOE Planner software that basically lets you dry hump uh, with the stats of your character. Basically you can assign skill points to your demo character to see the outcome in the long run. And if you really want to be strong in this game, especially in the end game, you will need to do this. There is no two ways about it. Combined with the stats of your armor and equipment, you will get a decent build. But wait, there's more, because every piece of your equipment also holds gems that add new properties. Some orbs can give you even more slots in your equipment. And in the combination of this complexity, you will be invincible. But for me, <laughs> it, yeah, it's just goes too deep. But but I will I will come back to that later. But what about the lore and the story? Well, this is well done. And it's as deep as the anus of a rhinoceros. I can't even begin to describe it, so I will use the help of Mr. Google. Path of Exile is set in the dark fantasy world. The player starts the game walking up in the shores of Rayclast, as a continent that once was the center of mighty empire, but it's now a ghost land which serves as a penal colony for criminals and other unwanted individuals from the nearby island of Orias. Regardless of the reasons for their exile, the player must now face the unforgiving wilderness and its dangerous inhabitants amidst the crumbling ruins and the bloody secrets of the Eternal Empire and the vile civilization that came before. 
and band together with the other exiles to survive. <coughs> that really took something out of me. If you really want to dive into the lore and enjoy the depth of these kind of games, then Path of Exile has done it magnificently. You can literally find a PDF document with more than 270 pages of lore, timelines and even pictures. It's just insane how awesome this really is. But let's talk about the gameplay. The game is always online, it's free to play. It all sounds great on the paper, but to be honest, the truth is that in 7 years they have not been able to offer servers that work properly. At least on the console side, every time I play my game lags. At first it was horrible, my character can basically die in a fight without me even knowing about it after a second later, which, which, which just basically makes it impossible to use any abilities or potions. It doesn't matter how many enemies are on the map, the game even lags when the map is totally empty. I got used to it so it doesn't disturb me that much anymore, but in the end game <laughs> you, you need every valuable second to make the right decision. So very 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 laggy gameplay. And my Wi-Fi is, is 100 megs per second, so that's not the case. Otherwise it plays exactly like Diablo games. Well, with the extra that you can set your own vitality and uh, mana potion jars, and assign each one of them to a different button. And now one more key feature of this game. It's that there is no currency. You can't hodl gold, you can just trade and exchange using consumables and orbs. And as much fun as it may sound to be, I don't really like it, I don't get it at all. I, I really like my gold, you know? But this consumable marketplace is really buzzing, considering that uh, <laughs> you even have a Path of Exile antiquary where you can see all the exchange rates for different items in real time. So yeah, items really do matter in this game. Which brings me to the inventory in this game. You, you have your main inventory for all the items, but it's ridiculously small. Mine got full in every 5 minutes and I hate leaving stuff behind. I just want to dismantle or sell everything, so using down scrolls became my thing. Keeping all the good shit is also possible, but only in the cities or your own personal hideouts that you can find while discovering new lands. You can access your stash box there. Here is the part where the moderate microtransaction feature comes to play. You can buy stash space for specific use for categorization function or just space for ordinary shit. Price will range from wall to wall, so there is a lot to spend. There are also a lot of extra features to buy, and since the game itself is free, you might want to consider getting something that makes your life a bit easier, but only if you really enjoy the game and see your next 30 or 400 hours in it. I would have spent it in a heartbeat if I was still playing the game. And don't forget, this game keeps evolving, releasing new season plays in every quarter, in, the game is growing like a fungus as we speak. But to the verdict, <laughs> I'm not playing the game anymore, for several reasons. And no, it's not because of the currency or lag, it's because it takes too much time. Yeah, you can jump in and out as you please, but at the end of the day, uh, it might take you around 2000 hours. Uh, and the only thing to show for it is more powerful gear to take on more powerful enemies in the hopes to get more powerful stuff uh, to take on mo even more powerful foes. And since I'm not the type who likes to spend hours on planning the skill tree for the next few weeks, I'm, I, I'm just, you know, and, and we also have a buttload of new titles to review, I, I just can't put that many hours into this anymore. And also, Path of Exile 2 is coming out this year, or at least at the end of this year, which means that in 12 months my progress is not valid anymore. So those are my reasons, but overall I do like this game, I do love this game, and you know, I wish that I was a person who can love this game without any other caveats, with no other games, or have just free time around the clock like I used to have 15 years ago. Making videos and having this channel is almost a full time job, considering that I need to both play and edit everything. And YouTube is not paying me. It's, it's not paying me anything, so I need to do actual work as well. But if you want to check out what is my actual work, and you can also support me, then type in the Google search bar gnomesinvade.com and visit my creation, 
dive into the secret world of gnomes who are trying to take over the world, a physical book that lets you have an adventure in a virtual world, and complete quests in real life. Unlock hidden content using your smartphone and grab a deck of cards to compete against your own foes. So yeah, that has been my work for the past three years and now it's finally ready and I'm happy! Anyways, Path of Exile deserves a 7 out of 10 and I really hope that you enjoyed this review. If you did, hit that like, smash that bell and if you dare, subscribe as well. I'm Silly Lamas and thanks for watching, till next time!